So I can only speak to AP Physics, but I can paint you a picture of that. In AP Physics, there's five big ideas and seven practices and seven different units. And then making that line up with state standards or standards from some other national organization, they're just not worded in the same way. Um, in fact, AP, as far as I can tell, doesn't even use the word standard. They have these big ideas and topics. So you've got these ideas that are written by two different companies and they don't always line up exactly. They are talking about the same main idea, but they're using completely different words and phrases. So they don't always line up in a way that makes sense to students and parents and teachers. Yes, I actually, it's been very good for me and I think for my students. Um, it has been frustrating, but it, I think has been very good for the educational process. Um, AP and the whole AP program has always been about challenging students. Um, it really is a college class and it's supposed to be a pretty good challenge. And high schools and, it's, and sometimes Wilmot High School has not always driven kids to really challenge themselves. And that's what I really like about our new SBG program is that to earn a four, we're starting to teach students to earn a four, you really should be doing something impressive. So that's a whole new mindset that I, I like and it is exactly what AP has always been. Um, and also something else about SBG is it kind of encourages growth. And if you don't ace the first test, that's okay. Um, because you're, you're growing and you can achieve that mastery eventually. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you achieve it eventually. So I think there's a couple good things about it that line up perfectly with teaching an AP class. Yes. So like we talked about earlier, we've got these different standards that may not align perfectly, but they're talking about the same thing. So they can be rewritten so that they're talking about exactly the same thing. Um, and I've written all my own standards in Otis and the administration at Wilma High School has approved and empowered teachers to, to rewrite standards and in, in wording in ways that make sense to teachers and parents, hopefully, and students. Um, so that's what I've done, is I've rewritten the standards in a way that makes sense to me and hopefully makes more sense to students. And um, it's still testing the exact same thing that the AP people want me to test, and it's still testing the exact same thing that the state of Wisconsin and the national boards want me to test. It's just reworded in a way that makes sense. Um, now that does not mean that it's gonna be easy because I still ask my students to solve challenging, really challenging questions. It's not a promise that it's gonna make it easy. It's just going to make it uh, understandable and achievable for those students that work hard. 